Welcome everyone to perhaps the most important Proxy Astro Good Master episode yet. If you guys remember the last episode, we had a long one. We got four wins, I believe. MMR is 4899. Let me show you guys what it takes to be Grandmaster. You have to be top 20 in the Contender League. And currently top 20 is 4907. Eight MMR above us. If we have a good day, if we stay solid, if we do good cheeses, we could reach it today. Let's go. All right, game... No oh my goodness, guys. Game number one is against a 5-9 Zerg player. In the last episode we played against, I think it was a 5-6 or 5-7. And that seemed like an absolutely impossible game. And now we have an even harder task beating a 5-9 Zerg. Now, the good thing about this, guys, is if we lose, we'll only lose like 3 MMR. So that's pretty nice, I guess. But if we win, we would get plus freaking 55 or something. And then we're obviously just set. until Unless I start throwing after that. But I think, uh, you know, the, the happiness that that win would give us would be enough. Now, how am I going to proxy edge here? Let's see. I guess we'll just build it right there. The problem is, it kind of showed itself in the last episode. When we played against a really good Zerg. He simply just 12 pulled because he figured... He was not going to lose to us in a game that comes down to like micro and skill and multitasking, right? Because we're way lower MMR. Now, maybe if I played my best possible Zerg build, I could have a chance. But Proxy Hatch against Zerg, you know, if they do an early pool, we are just absolutely screwed. Even a normal pool for us would be devastating. But here we go, guys. Let's say we get lucky. He doesn't early pool. Maybe you could make the upset of the show and maybe of the entire freaking YouTube channel, to be honest. Like, this would be an incredible dub. 5.9k. That is definitely top 10 Grandmaster on an A, guys. We're not even Grandmaster yet. We're playing against a top 10. That is scary. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Now, the first overlord is obviously going towards my base. This is the nice thing about playing ZVZ. They never scout around with their overlord, so the proxy hatch is always safe, which is nice. And I'm gonna send these two around. Uh, to make two spine crawlers, of course. And I mean, it is a pretty big map. If he were to play uh, a regular hatch first, I think the map would make sense for it. It's a big map. 12 pulling on this map seems a little bit insane, to be honest. I mean, you never know what they're going to do on the ladder, right? But, uh, all right. I'm getting a little bit nervous. I'm not sure you guys can hear it, but I'm a little bit nervous for this one. The second overlord is not going to scout my base either, which is nice. And I think the second overlord... Is it... A little bit late. It does look a little bit later than mine, but it should be a normal enough timing to indicate a hatch first, I believe. Not completely sure about that, but um, in, at least he's not doing it 12 pool. I think that is pretty safe to say. And we're going to make those two spines all the way up here. Actually, I'll make it there so it's a little bit faster. And it is indeed a hatch first. Roughly now, he's going to see that I don't have a hatchery. And now let's see how he's going to defend against it. This should be the highest level response we've seen yet, uh, which I think is going into the main base. At least I think. Okay, now he's going to scout the hatchery. And then I want to know what it... This is what I'm very curious about. He actually scouted it and he's a really high level player. So what is he going to do now? That's what I want to know. Because it would make sense for him to make spines on his own. But it might be a little bit too late for that. Yeah, there's nothing on the low ground here. He does have a lot of units. And I imagine he's going to try to defend it. Because if my spines get up there, he probably thinks he's screwed. So here we go. That's actually an accident, but it's fine. The spines are coming. He does have... Wait, I can burrow at least one here. That would be fantastic. I do have a lot of these links as well myself. Here we go. I, he's trying his best to micro. I'm trying my best to get one freaking spine down. Oh, that one's going to go down. That is nice. They're both going to go down, actually, which is fantastic. Now I need to make sure to target the links. The links are attacking the spine, which is really good for my DPS. My first spine is down. This queen is going to die as well, by the way. Now it's going to be a close one. Do I have enough links for this? Oh, it's actually very, very tight here, guys. I can attack the spine here. Maybe it's the best idea. Let's get that spine crawler. Spine crawler goes down. Do I have enough links here, though? I did make an overlord, I believe, at some point. At least I hope that is the case. I'm even considering making one more. No, I didn't make an overlord, huh? Okay, that's a bit unfortunate. I really thought I made one. Maybe I can get the queen. Oh, he's not paying attention. No, he is paying attention. Oh, he does have a lot of units here. This is terrifying. Hmm. I thought we were about to do it. Now I'm a little bit scared. He has link speed and he has enough banes to blow up my freaking spine crawler. I think he may have held this a little bit too well, unfortunately, guys. Now I'm just going to run into the main. That is obviously the only chance we have. There we go. I do imagine he's going to micro this pretty well, though. Getting a few links here. Let's try to start running around again. Okay, he's, make he's making a creep tumor, man. He is really confident in this, seems like. So he has some more links. Do I have enough links to attack that queen? I really wonder what the supplies are going to be here. 
Let's see, if I can ever get down there, that'd be fantastic. Try to sur uh, surround that queen. Does seem like he just has too many links, though. And we needed a little bit more. Oh, man. I thought we got close. We had a good situation, but obviously... Oh, he did blow off four bailings for no reason. That is pretty nice. But our opponent was just a little bit too good. And yeah, here you could see it. Uh, but I really did enjoy this micro battle. Yeah, at this point, it's definitely going to be over here. There we go. GG. 37 supply against 29. Um, I'm actually pretty excited about this. Normally, I don't get too excited about losses, but it was so cool to see uh, how it was actually going to go down. And you can see he just has a few too many drones as well. Let's see what the situation was like before I died, basically. Uh, yeah, you can see it's 19 drones against 15, and he just has the bailings plus speed, so... Now we can really see what the economic difference should be. And before we had some chaotic ZVZs where it's like, if I did this a little bit better, could I have won? But now we can see here, you really have to kill them. Um, the natural needs to go down because else you're just going to be too far behind economically. But it's a very cool experiment. Uh, I'm glad he went hatch first and decided to accept the challenge so we could see what it looks like. Now let's move on to the next game. All right, second opponent is going to be a 4-6 Terran player. Now... I kind of wanted to do a macro proxy hatch. We did do a bunch of those already. We had some really long games two episodes ago. But a macro proxy hatch on this map is a little bit scary. Because there's also a back base. Keep in mind, the main purpose of a macro proxy hatch is to deny the natural while I'm macroing up myself. But if I build a hatch here, they can just take this one in the back. Though I can definitely do some kind of crazy mind games. I mean, I have to decide now which hatchery I'm going to go for. Um, the spine rush would definitely be pretty successful. And you guys know I love my spine rushes, of course. By now, you must know it. Uh, if you don't know it yet, then you haven't been paying attention. Uh, but I would love to do some spine rushes. And also... It might be the best chance for us to win MMR. And today I'm extra tryhard because we're so close to Grandmaster. I think we're literally, I think we lost four MMR and we were maybe like eight away. So now we're, you know, 12 MMR away from uh, getting that GM spot. At least it's not 100% secure yet, but most likely. Uh, so a Spine Rush would be nice here. Now, maybe we're, I'm just going to wait to see a sign here. I'm just going to build a hatchery as normal. Oh, I, I should actually scout for the SCV with this. Um, I need to know if an SCV is coming across, so I'm just going to do it like that. Move the overlay a little bit down, and then send it across, and this one as well. Because an SCV scout is always going to be a little bit telling. Sometimes they don't scout at all, because they see a hatch in their natural. And I'm not actually sure which one I'd prefer in this case, because so far, <clears throat> if I'm being honest... I think even with SCV scout, no one has read our proxy hatches correctly. Like, I think we have never been countered, like, really properly. I, I think we've lost the game to Terran. At least, I think so. Uh, Terran is definitely our best matchup, but I, I, would, I would think we've lost the game. But we've never really been read correctly and countered really hard, I think, so. Now, there's nothing yet to see. There's no bunker being built close to the hatchery. And, ooh, look at that. He's gonna... Okay, that's gonna be rough. But I do think... This is a good situation. He's not going to... Oh, he did actually scout it. Ah. Wait, he did exactly what I said. He is going for a reactive expansion in the back. So if I did a macro proxy hatch now, we would be in major trouble. So I'm very, very happy I decided to send these drones out. Because really, I think it would have been... Oh, I needed to make those links way faster. That's a bit of an oopsie by me. Um... Yeah, this is the only way we could have won this game, so that's nice. I did forget those links for a while, though, and that's gonna hurt. For some reason, I was just stuck in my thoughts. I didn't quite know what I wanted to say. And now these links are gonna arrive super late, and that is problematic. Now, I guess we'll see. Uh, the spines here are the key, but I can't make those spines before my links are here. That is a very big problem. I think maybe the queen, the queen is actually going to offer me a decent amount of protection as well. Let's get those here. I need to make one overlord. I'm going to move these links here just so my drones can come in, really. That is the big thing here. And then I'm going to make two spines up here. <clears throat> maybe I can uh, drop a creep tumor instantly as well. Get a spine there. I think he's making a reactor, actually. Is He's making a marauder? That is... Has anyone done that against us? That is insane. I'm a rather... Okay, I mean, it's gonna kill the spines a little bit faster. It's gonna kill the hatchery a little bit faster. Oh, no, he's gonna get surrounded. Ooh, that was close. I mean, I'm gonna get the SUVs now, though. These SUVs are not gonna do anything. That marine is... Ooh, it should die. Okay, I miss micro that a little bit, but it's gonna die in the end, which is nice. He's gonna try to go back up. Oh, this link is gonna prevent him. There we go. I mean, he's killing a lot of my Zerglings, I do have to say. And that is problematic here. But is it enough? I'm not quite sure. That bunker is pretty much empty. Let's see. I don't need to get two more queens out. I'm not sure if I can get a queen out here. Oh, my Lings actually got in. And this means I'm going to go into the natural and deny that CC for a little bit. Can I target those SCVs? That would be nice. 
This bunker is gonna kill me. Oh, I actually cannot reach. I need to put this one, one more up, I believe. Should be able to do that. There you go. Oh, we need to be careful with these links now. Let's see, this one can go here. And then with this spine, I should be able to reach the back. No, I still can't target them. Oh, that is so unfortunate. Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna get rid of the bunker in a sec. This could actually end up being our first spine crawler rush that transitions into a macro game. I do still have these links up here. I also have a transfuse, by the way, which is super nice. His units are just not doing any damage to this. He is getting a tank up now, though. Hmm, okay. We might have to drone behind this, guys. I'm gonna keep these spines alive if I can. Oh, no. You guys stay alive, please. There we go. You move down here as well. And then I'm just gonna creep up his natural entirely. And I guess this is actually gonna be the first time we're gonna have to transition from this. Now, I have so many links. I am not convinced that we're in a great spot here, to be fair. Um... I feel like I could have done a better job for sure. Maybe I should have just droned earlier. I could have also gone to mine out this. But at this point, it's a little bit too late. Um, and I think I also can't really afford making or mining gas right now. I wonder if I can actually sneak up on this tank. I know it sounds crazy, but... Maybe with like one more transfuse. Now, I wanted to say what one comment I saw was that I should try to get a creep tumor out in every corner of the base just to make it a little bit more difficult for him to clear the creep tumors. Now, I'm not I'm really not sure if I'm going to be ahead or not, mostly because I don't know how many SCVs I killed. If it's if I killed more SCVs than I realized, it's going to be pretty good. He does have double meal, but we should be able to catch up pretty soon, I want to say. There we go, another SCV. He does have two tanks already. Tanks, by the way, this is a big rule of ZVT. You typically can't make tanks early on because they just suck. Um, so the fact that he has tanks is going to make sure we can't get attacked too early, which is pretty important. I'm just going to try to get as many drones and as much creep up as possible. I don't think I have enough tumors at this point that I can probably save one for transfuse on that spine crawler. Now, it's actually funny because normally a queen here would not be able to transfuse. It's actually a bit of a weird, unintuitive patch in case you guys don't know. Uh, but you can't transfuse when your queen is off creep anymore. So normally if your queen is this far out, you know, you can't really do anything with it. But here, uh, I can actually transfuse this, which is nice. Now I need to keep making uh, queen so I can actually defend his attacks. And we're going to fly this one in. So I can see if there's like a Banshee on the way or something. I, I could technically try to get a tumor up there. <laughs> That's probably a little bit a uh, little bit too psycho of a move. I mean, you guys know me. Psycho moves are my absolute favorite. Doesn't matter if it's me or my opponent doing it. It's always, it's always at least funny, I want to say. I'm going to get two gases here. I want to go for double upgrades, actually. Let's see. Oh, that is a tech lab just building on a starport, I guess. Could be a fusion core here, actually. Oh, there is stuff in my main. Oh, that's just two tanks. Okay, that's not going to be too much trouble then, honestly. Um, I can just use my drones to attack and attack the medevac with my queens. And he's actually staying around, which is a pretty big mistake here, I want to say. There we go. And now I'm just going to target the medevac, and those tanks are both going to die most likely, guys. Oof. That is a massive blunder. Now let's see what's actually here. There's a tech lab on the starport, but there is just no fusion core anywhere to be seen. Obviously, it could be proxied. He's going to kill that Overlord, but I already prepared for that. Um, and then I'm just going to keep trying to creep this up as well. I'm going to actually get two creep tumors on that third base. There we go. Uh, I should probably get some spores just in case, right? Now we can definitely see my economy is better than my opponents, by the way. At this point, there's no doubt about it for me. He does have that back base, which is going to saturate for free. But even then, I think we're going to be totally fine here. At least as long as I play solid. Especially killing those two tanks is pretty nice. I wonder if I can use my spines again. Uh, because his freaking siege tanks died in that attack. That was really weird. Uh, it did happen. Let's get another lair out here. Oh, I forgot to spread creep in this way though. I started it, but then I forgot about it. Now, at the moment, I'm, I'm deciding whether I should make queens or drones really. Can't really afford both very well. See, oh, I need one tumor up here, actually. Let me uh, take care of that. There we go. Get these in the corners as well. My, my creep is actually disgusting here. I'm, I'm really trying my best to make this as annoying as possible. Now, my overlord should have seen that drop. I guess it just wasn't... I just only realized I had this overlord here. I probably just wasn't paying attention. Uh, but that's okay. It happens to the best. I'm going to get a few more overlords. He's going to find this. I'm going to scare him. Oh, no, my links are just a little bit too far away. He's going to... Wait, actually, I could get in here. Oh, this is actually very nice. Let's see. Four command senders. Okay, that is interesting. Um, so he's really just going super macro heavy. 
Do you think he has a hidden base here, guys? Why else would he have so many command centers here? I'm not quite sure. Now, obviously, you guys know what's up. If you guys have watched me play Zerg before, you know there is clearly, you know, a spire that's going to be built here. Because what else would I make, right? don't think there's any other units in the game besides Lynx and Mutalis, right? At least I, I've never seen them myself, so... So he's still making tanks, that is logical at this point, because uh, he already has his add-ons going. Let's get more annoying creep tumors up. Oh, I do need to get all my overlords back, by the way. I do not want all these overlords to be here. Now, do I have enough links? If I if I had plus one already, I would go for this 100%. So the weird part here is that he does have four command centers, which is like an insane amount of economy if he were actually to drop the mules there, right? Um, now, I kind of feel like I need to get some more queens in the main. Because I'm afraid of a drop. Let's see. Oh, this is actually a battle cruise. Did I... Where, is, where the hell is the fusion core, guys? I have no idea where that is. That is insane. How did he hide that f so well for me? I'm going to get some more queens up here. Four queens should be okay against the PC. Unless he has Yamato. Then it's going to be slightly more annoying. But even then, it's probably going to be okay here. I have enough transfusions on this. Let's see. Let me just put this one backwards a little bit. And it should be a totally fine trade. Don't think I can really uh, lose anything here. Now, my Spire is done. I also did get... Um, or what did I get? I, I think I just wanted to say my Spire was finished, but I, I forgot what I was talking about. Now, I can make 12 Mutalisk at once. There we go. Took pretty much no damage there. I mean, I lost, think I lost 5 drones or 4. But uh, considering he's locked up in 2 bases, we're really not going to be too sad about that one, I don't think. Let's try to get more Creep Spread. You know, looking at me putting Creep Spread... It is actually terrifying to think what a good Zerg could do, right? Because there is just, you know, tumors everywhere that see, like, everything. I block all of his bases. Look at these tumors over here. They're actually insane. He's got a... Well, he did get a Raven. Wait, did he go Battlecruz or into Raven? Or did he do it the other way around? I'm actually not quite sure. Now, for the first time, I think it's time to actually make a bailing nest here, guys. I know I've been very stubborn about not wanting to make a bailing nest, but I think I think it's finally time that we go for one. I do have a lot of gas. I think I'm going to make some more drones, even. I think especially if you're playing Mutalisks, you really want to go up to um, probably at least 90 drones even. Now, he has that one battlecruiser that's just chilling with his army. Probably just fly into his main base now, though. Well, he's hunting creep tumors. There we go. Oh, that's going to be such a... Ma I don't know if it's combat shield. Yeah, it looks like it's combat shield. I'm pretty sure he would have stim by now. But that's such a massive pickoff. And now I can just kill all these add-ons. He's going to go for a counter-attack. I am going to have to defend this with slow bailings, which is a little bit uh, suboptimal, you could say. Let's see. I'll just bring these back down here. Try to go for that one. These can all become bailings. Let's see if I can get some more injects going. Zerg is usually about patience. The main problem here is that I don't have bailing speed. I think it's just going to be completely fine, though, to be honest. Does he have... Yeah, he does have 1-1 one, one at least. That's pretty good for him. Now, let's make sure I actually do this the proper way. Here we go. Take all the bailings on the Marines. Tanks are... Or bailings are clearing everything up. Tanks are going to die. And now these Marines are going to die as well. And that's going to put us in such a big lead that we cannot lose anymore. So I didn't really need the patience there. Mostly because his army was just too small. Uh, but I still think we, we, we did the right thing there by, you know, just chilling for a little bit. Let's remake our stuff here. And yeah, he does have a third base, but I have a saturated fourth. I know you might not think my eco has been this good, but it actually has been really good. And now I can make another wave of drones. That's going to go to the gold base. Let's see. Yeah, he doesn't even have a turret here. He does have enough defenses for the mutas, though. So we need to take it a little bit easy. Ba Bailing speed is actually a pretty slow upgrade, in case you guys didn't know. So I am going to have to... Should I wait for that? I feel like I could... Yeah, if he doesn't have enough... Ba or... Oh, I lost the bailing nest, right? I was trying to make bailings. I was like, well, I don't have speed. But at least I can make bailings. But then, no, I couldn't. That's a little bit a little bit sad. <laughs> I felt like that was going to be my genius mode. But I have this move. But then I did it. I have enough mutas to kill these turrets, actually. He only made one battlecruiser, I believe. So these turrets are just going to be a little bit sad here. Uh, he's trying to repair, but he's only losing his SCVs by doing that. Look how many... He's actually losing the entire mineral line here. Oh, my God. That is pretty brutal. I know he has marines, but I have enough... Oh, he does have a Thor now. Okay, that's actually uh, the first scary thing I've seen in a while. That one Thor shooting my mutalisks. Now, do I have any... Oh, I actually lost all the active creep tumors here. I do have a few more here. I was trying to look for some good tumors to use. Didn't find them. Let's try to... Sat oh, actually, Max. Dude, that was pretty fast. I was like, okay, I'm going to make some more drones. I just saturate this gold base. And then I was actually... Oh, I can't. That's unfortunate. Now, judging by the marine count he has... I definitely have to wait for bailing speed here. His army looks a little bit too big to beat without bailing speed. 
I'm gonna morph an absolute crap ton of Bailings, though. Uh, that is actually one of my favorite things. I don't like playing with Bailings because I'm bad at it. But it is one of my favorite things to do. To just make a million Bailings and then A move the opponent. Because it looks... You just walk through everything, you know. And it looks very overwhelming and it's cool. That's like the true definition of Zerg Swarm for me. Now he does have... Oh, he did make a bunch of turrets now. I think I can still kill all of them, actually. I know it sounds crazy, but... Turrets are just not <laughs> that amazing, I guess. Uh, okay, he's over here. Bailing speed is still not finished. If he's gonna bring one Thor... I could even kill the one Thor. Yeah, exactly, is what I'm talking about. That Thor is just gonna die now. There we go. He's bringing the Marines. Might need a little bit of micro. There we go. And I'm actually just replacing all of the mutas I'm losing with more links and Bane links. Because I really want to try to get a massive Baneling A move going. Uh, and the thing about making Thors in his case is that I think he only has one factory. So that means he's not going to have tanks. And obviously the only way for him to deal with this... Wait, is this... No, it's actually properly positioned. Okay. Is to have a lot of tanks. Now, how many Banelings is this? It's probably about 50, I want to say. It uh, might be a little bit more. And here we go. I need to get the links on front. Those are going to tank the tank hits if they exist. There we go. And now we're just going to go right into the main. Okay, he's doing a pretty good counter attack here. Probably going to send a bunch... Yeah, I'm going to send a bunch of those Banelings back. Oh, he does have one Thor. Uh, not anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's actually an insane move. Trying to blow up freaking uh, Thors with Banelings. But I guess if it works, it works. He's going to lose every single SUV here. And then the rest of my army is just going to go back. He did lose the gold base. But he's going to lose that entire army as, as uh, soon as my Mutas and my Banelings are back. And that should be it then. There we go. Gonna even target the medivacs on purpose. Oh my god, Banelings are so nice to have. I didn't think his army was gonna die that instantly, but it was just gone, which is beautiful. I'm gonna try to retake this hatch. Pounce on his last remaining army, I wanna say. Can even kill that with Lings, I think. Uh, yeah, I do have two too. Yeah, those are just gonna die. And now, I'm surprised he's still here. He really is a fighter, guys. Let me tell you guys that, but now it is definitely over for him. If he wins this game... Uh, I will call myself a silly goose. And there we go. We have gotten the 1G. And I think this is actually a very beautiful game with the creep shot. Units lost looks very even. Now, let me tell you guys one thing. Units lost in TVZ. Terran is supposed to be up by like 30% or so. Sometimes even 50%. So the fact that it's even means that I really dominated this game. Like that's not what a TVZ units lost is supposed to look like. If you jump back a little bit, you're going to see the economic situation here. I have... Actually, I didn't have that many workers yet. This is before I made the final workers. But he just can't mine from this base because of all the creep. And the Raven was... That, without the Raven, he would have been absolutely screwed, by the way. So that's a really good choice. Did delay his battlecruiser for a little bit, but it wasn't enough. Now, the future was here did i see it or not no I, I actually didn't see it somehow i thought i was really blind i was like i must be really stupid and you guys are gonna make fun of me while well, you guys do that anyway but that was game number two we are in grandmaster theory now when it comes to mmr but i'm still gonna play one more let's go all right another terran player okay hmm now i did actually check by the way i i said in the last game i must have lost the game against terran right actually i haven't i haven't lost a single game against terran with proxy hatch to gm uh which is absolutely incredible now i think for this map it's gonna shoot a little bit better to do the macro proxy hatch so that's what i'm gonna go for um how did i do that build it was a double extractor trick I, I'm not sure if this is 100% the best way to execute this build, but to me, it felt the best. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go for that version. Let's get these two extractors and then start two extra drones. And then we can cancel them and we have 16 supply. <laughs> hacker man. Call me hacker man, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. I think... In the past, when I did macro proxy hatches, they would usually just get really far behind and try a desperate push and I would win. And that is kind of what I'm hoping for here. Because I do feel like as these Terrans get higher MMR, because we're getting higher MMR, their macro games are looking stronger. Like, for example, in the last game, I do not feel like super confident playing them in a the macro game. Instead, I usually have way more stuff. Like, especially when they start, you know, actually defending against the Mutas properly. Like last game with the Thor drop and the, and the turrets. And then actually doing sneaky counterattacks before I get Bay links up because I'm always late on those. I do think it's pretty scary. So I'm really hoping that I get far ahead and play against a desperate attack again because that's just the best. And also doing a three hatch before pool, by the way, which is uh, a pretty insane strategy. Uh, but I do think it's still the best way to play this. Now, I was always doubting whether the best version was to go hatch, pool, hatch, or just three hatch before pool like this. Um, but this does feel pretty good. It always just depends on if they send the Reaper across. If they don't send the Reaper across, and you happen to do a really greedy build, you you're just going to fly ahead. Like, if you're just ignoring the fact that a Reaper can be a threat, you're going to get so many workers and be really far ahead. But if you do that, and the Reaper does come, 
you're gonna get tortured for like 40 seconds and it's really not fun to be tortured by a reaper i've experienced it from both sides can tell you guys it's it's not a vibe um so okay he's gonna make a bunker that is a good start now remember the strategy here guys actually i do not have should i make a drone here to be scary it is not the best use of my larva, but I think I can maybe scare him a little bit extra with that. Oh, I accidentally pulled that back. Now I'm gonna make a queen. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the drone here. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna hide the drone and then send it back. And now he's gonna think it's a spine crawler rush. Tell me that's not genius, guys. Now he's gonna think I'm doing a spine rush. Um, at least he should be able. So maybe he's making another bunker up here. He's gonna see my hatchery now. Let's look at the timing of the queen. Okay, it's time to make zerglings. And these zerglings are just here to guard my creep tumor, basically. That's the entire plan. And then besides this, I'm gonna... Wait, is that a second barracks? That was a lot of marines showing up at once, wasn't it? Hmm... That was a little bit suspicious there. Was that actually a second barracks? Now let's try to get the creep tumor out. Zerglings are all going to finish. Going to make it in the corner as well. That should be the best course of action. I do need to remember, I, I feel like I've been forgetting this consistently, that the hatchery does give supply, so I am going to lose that supply, which is unfortunate. Now, he did let me get my creep tumor up for free, which is awesome. Maybe I should get like a little bit of a scout on with this one. And then maybe put like a creep tumor right here or so. Like really make sure he can't kill it all in one scan. That is the best possible scenario. Come on, inject. It's actually a little bit unsatisfying that the, that the inject takes a little bit shorter than it takes to regain the energy. So even if you're perfectly on time, you can't inject as soon as it's uh, the other one is done. And I guess I'll just go for this hatchery. Okay, let me go for this. Oh, I got, I got a few links here. This is a good surround, guys. This is a really good surround there. Oh my goodness, he's getting destroyed by this surround. Lost every single marine besides one. And now I can actually kill that hatchery. Or the, the bunker, rather. And get up into the main as well. And that is just going to be absolutely terrible for him at this point. Okay. Oh, that is a lot of zerglings. Or, or marines, rather. That is way more than you're supposed to have. So I think he actually did stay on one base here, guys. Like, he should just be killing this queen right now. But he's not going to. Maybe I can put on a creep tumor here. That should be very sneaky. And I'm actually going to fly in the main base. Start zergling speed. Uh, make a few... Yeah, exactly. This is what I thought. Uh, cancel zergling speed, I mean. And I should be able to get enough spines, I hope. Stop mining gas. Cancel this. Make a lot of zerglings. And this is what I imagine it was. He does have combat shield, I believe. That is going to be pretty scary. Make another spine up here. Like, literally just a million spines are, are what I need here. I'm gonna... Actually, this queen can catch reinforcements as well. That's another part I should be doing right. Let's get this up. So there's a spine here. I could pull my drones already. Let's see. I got another queen finishing somewhere. Here we go. He does have stim. Like, I can lose every single worker and it's fine. I don't have a transfuse yet, but I have more uh, spines finishing. I think it's gonna be close, but it looks like we have it here with all those spines finishing up. Keep in mind, he can't really stim twice. Because then um, his units are just going to be too low HP. And now I can just safeguard his units up here. And I think we have done it. That spine is going to move over there. This one's going to move a little bit closer. Yo, this queen is absolutely fragging. Just like I said. That is fantastic. He's going to try to go up here. But I have. He's not going to be able to do it. I anticipated this move. Lings are going to block the marines. And that should be it for this game. Because uh, Look at this queen. Five, five kills. It has five marines. That is absolutely insane. I did cancel my speed. Let's start it up again. Because uh, obviously without speed, they're not going to be that great. And at this point, I could even make drones. It's not really necessary. Here we go. Another marine dead. Queen. Oh, I got another one. Let's go. Dude, this queen is absolutely incredible. That might be the best queen I've ever had, to be honest. Oh, no. It's going to die. Is it? No, queens are pretty strong. Imagine if you could... I wish you could transfuse itself. That's unfair, guys. Let it show some love to itself. Let me put... Oh, a creep tumor there is going to be brutal. I'm actually going to block all the expansions. I mean, I'm actually just droning at this point because he, he cannot break these spine crawlers. Like, there's just absolutely no way. I don't know how many SEVs he lost, but I think at most... Oh, that's actually a very, very bad overlord. Wait, why are my units still going across? I thought I fixed that age. <gasps> it's two overlords. Please don't look. No, no, don't look. We're friends. I mean, I don't think it's going to make the difference, but we're friends, so don't look. And I guess I'll just put more and more creep down as well. He's still rallying units across, and he's making a good amount of them. Which makes me think it's probably more SEVs than you would think. Because one mule, I think it can't even support uh, two barracks, really. And he's making marines from like four or five at a time, it looks like. Which uh, yeah, does mean he has like at least seven SEVs, probably at this point. Maybe even more like ten, assuming he was able to build them all the time. Yeah, I should, he's making so many marines, I really should stop being greedy and just make zerglings here. But I I just feel so confident in my spine crawlers. 
that I'm not gonna die. Uh, I do have one transfuse as well, which is nice. Probably go for a lair, actually. Maybe I can finish this one with a Nidus. That'd be pretty sick. Let's just make a lot of links, just to make sure I don't die. I have this drone in the bottom because I wanted to make a hatch here. Okay, there's more drones or more SUVs coming. Let's just make a few more spines. Like, why would I take the risk, right? There's absolutely no reason to take the risk here. I'm just going to make more and more spines and more and more links. I mean, I have 35 workers. Even if I had 18, this would be the right approach. Now, I guess I'll just spread creep into his main base at this point because, I mean, there's nothing else. Uh, you know, he's right-clicking them across. So it's not like they're doing anything to kill the tumors. No, I think... I probably don't even need the Zerglings here, to be fair. Let's save the transfuse a little bit. There we go. And now the links are going to come in. Surround is going to be absolutely brutal. Queens are still attacking. Don't know my plus one yet, but it doesn't matter. And there we go. Crankon has been defeated. And the situation that has been happening all the time happened again. The proxy hatch throws them off. They get behind and they try a very desperate all-in. It seems like what they always do is they're so scared of the proxy hatch. They make extra barracks and they're like, oh crap. Well, now I need to all-in. Hasn't worked yet. Hasn't even really come close to working because we're scouting. Keep in mind, the creep gives me all the vision I need. I know exactly what's going on. If you stop moving Marines across, I would know as well. And this was a beautiful episode. And that means we have officially reached Grandmaster MMR. I don't think we have the game requirements, so we're not getting the promo. But for me, this is officially the start of our GM adventure. It feels fantastic. Congratulations to me and to all of you guys for doing this with me. And we're still going to keep going. This series is not over yet. Grand Finale is not yet in sight. Maybe at some point it will be. For now, like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all for the next episode. Adios.